Hi. Alison Tandry of DIY Salvation here with my latest talk on the resolution of the mind also known as TROM. Though this is the fourth lecture in my series, no previous study is required to understand it. I know of no human who hasn't at some time experienced a loss, an upset or conflict that lingers in his or her mind that they couldn't let go of, at least not right away. Whether it's a death, a breakup, accident, injury, or an unresolved argument, the past has haunted the present at one time or another for nearly if not all of us. The reason for this is not hard to understand. What to do about it is another matter. Dennis Stevens, the man who researched and developed Trump came up with effective techniques that allow one to let go of their past upsets and conflicts. The main technique, known as time-breaking, is an act of viewing the past and present at the same time to compare the two, which diminishes the importance of the past, freeing your attention so you can be in the now. The reason you can't let go of the past, whether it's something that you can't stop thinking about, or something you've forgotten yet still affects you in ways you're not aware of, is because at one time you considered that person, object or event to be important. Either you considered it important of your own free will, like with a past love, or the importance was enforced upon you, like in a traumatic event. Forcing yourself to forget something doesn't work. You are holding something as important to you with one hand while trying to get rid of it with the other. And trying to convince yourself that something wasn't important in the first place is equally futile. So if you can't get rid of it, what do you do? You can get to a point where you are comfortable with the thought of it. And that's what trauma exercises do for you. When a conflict, upset or trauma occurs, it forms what we call a mental mass in the mind. All of us have mental masses cluttering our psyches to some extent. Trom exercises rid you of these so-called mental masses. In other words, the upsets over the past diminish, and the past becomes something you are progressively more comfortable with. The memories are still there. The upset is not. But this brings about a problem. And its solution is the other main technique used in Trom. When Dennis first tried time-breaking on himself and others, while at first he and others experienced considerable relief from such mental and spiritual burdens as I've mentioned, he also found that shortly afterwards, people would just attract more upset to themselves. While someone could let go of their upsets, they seemed to want new upsets to replace the old ones, or just had more of their old upsets start flying in their faces. It's similar to how a prisoner, when he's set free, longs to return to his cell. Dennis developed a technique that would prevent this from happening or handle it when it did, and he calls it the repair of importances exercise. Mental masses are apparently important to the being. He's been forced to know these upsets that are stored in the mind for so long that he actually believes he needs them. That's the bad news. The good news is that the being can actually generate his own importances to replace the ones he's lost performing trom exercises. He does this by surrounding himself with his own mental creations until he feels comfortable doing so, and becomes more aware of his present surroundings. One learns this exercise before he learns to time break, and it's performed before, during and after every session. If you never do a single time breaking session ever, you should still learn the repair of importances exercise as it's highly therapeutic yet easy to perform. Our video on this channel shows you everything you need to know. So, why won't you let go of the past? It's because you don't have anything to replace it with. But with the TROM level 1 repair of importances exercise, you will. I'm Alison Tandry. We are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind. Resolve it.